Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can actually compare two different Excels that are there for you. So let's consider you have an Excel which you will be using it as a template for every validation, for every Excel that comes as an input. So you will use this particular template as validation. And uh, you have to check the column headers for both of the Excels. So let me just show you the sample that I have with me right now. So this is the template I'm using currently. So in this video, I'm going to show you the compact way of where you can write the code and you can get this, uh, whether the Excel is in line with the template or not. And without not writing much lines of code and it, this can be your, you know, way to go because you can just utilize this code across different projects. So if you see here, I have my template. So here I have certain columns over here. So these columns are fixed. So whatever the data that comes inside before I give it to the bot, I have to validate whether the data is in line with my template or not. So this can be a basic validation that we do, right? For any of the projects or any of the Excel that we handle. So in some cases, what happens, it might be if the input that is coming from the user is in a different format then we gonna if we don't do this validation at the first step we will face errors at the later step right so in order to avoid that let's do this validation as the major step at the beginning and then we can you know take up to the next steps so how you can actually do this validation is something that i'm going to show now so first of all these are the columns uh, that my reference template has so for that purpose First, I'm going to read this particular Excel that I have. So let me just create one sequence. I'm going to give a name as Excel header comparison. So here I'm going to write read range workbook because ideally I just need that header. So I'm going to read range. Uh, I don't talk about any range specifically. I'll just read the whole Excel because if I wanted to utilize data, data, I can use the same data table instead of reading the Excel or reading only header with the range. So I can have everything in one table where I can utilize if I need the data somewhere else. So now I'm going to read this template. So I have the template file with me. I'm going to read, I believe it's sheet one. Let me cross check. Yeah, it's sheet one. And the output is DT template. Okay. And let's do the same thing for the copy that I have created. So ideally in this scenario, both are same because I wanted to show one positive scenario before we actually extract the negative one. So I will say this as DT input. So this input will be varying all the time, but the template remains constant. So in this case, okay, this is quite simple step, right? So what I'm going to do here is, I'm gonna take one assign activity. Okay, and here, I will just create one variable which is of type list. Okay. Let's consider list one. Um, it will be under collection of generic because it's a collection and it's of a string because I want all the headers, right? So I created one list variable and let's take one more list variable, which is for um, the other template that we are using, right? So we've got both the list variables. So now just assign list one, two. Now here is the code that I'm referring to. So what you can do is first thing, you have the template read into one data, table, right? So you, you can have the DT template. And you wanted to take only columns of that particular template. So extract the columns. Perfect. And later, what you can do is you have to cast that. You're doing the data casting here. Uh, sorry, type casting here into the type of data column. Okay. And from that, you are selecting. So this is basically a link query again. 
x with respect to column name. So it is not coming up, but then you can just write it down uh, even if it's not populating. Okay. Uh, so I think I've written it properly. Yeah, fine. So you are converting this whole thing into the list, right? So just save this. You can utilize the same thing for list two as well. So I just copied it, list two, and just change the DT template to DT input. Okay, because you're doing the same operation, you're just taking all the columns and you're converting that uh, by fetching all the column names by using the select query and you're converting that into the list. So once after you do that, we have certain, uh, in case of if you wanted to compare two lists, you have intersect and also um, accept, right? Uh, so all these functions you have, I'll show them uh, while we run through this. So I'm just using a log message to... Just check. So list of one dot, if you give a dot, there is intersect, right? And intersect will fetch you the common things that you have between list one and list two. And also um, here our uh, criteria is to accept, right? Uh, if there is any difference, that difference value it will give. So for us in this condition, the difference should be zero. Only then it will be, uh, you know, it will be considered as both the list has same header values, right? So let's just check this. This value should, let me just put a count. Okay, so this value should be zero. Let me... And also I will show you at each and every step how these values we are getting and how it is converted into a list, okay? Because that will give you the uh, deep understanding of what we are exactly doing over here. Let me close the Excel. Mm. So right now, uh, both the Excels have the same data. I just took a clone of it, copy of it. So it should give me uh, the value zero, but later I will change it. And I will also show you different parameters, the small, small changes like space and all, like how it will work, whether it work or not, I'm going to show you. So now it has read it, right? So let me just show you. Um, so basically DT template dot columns. So if you go over here, it is a collection actually. So if you say this is a collection of data column, but we don't want a collection because we wanted to use the list functions. So that's why I have converted that into a list. So now after converting that into list, how these values are changing, you can observe here, right? This is a list of seven. So this is easy to compare, right? Instead of collection, so it's easy to compare. So now it will be giving me zero, right? So that means all the records are same. So now I'm going to add, let me take the copy. Now I'm going to add a few more values. Um, let me put a, lo a value like location. Okay, enable editing. I'm going to add one more value location. And also if you observe, this is a RPA challenge, uh, challenge uh, Excel that we get from there. So basically this will have last name space. So I'm going to remove that space. And also let's add one more difference, which is address, okay? So we made three differences here. So our count should be three. Let's go and try whether it's working or not. So let's debug the file again. Okay, so now list one dot accept list two so here i just wanted to see the differences first mm. yeah so it has given me the difference uh last name and address because these two are the different things i think i've also added location let me just check that one as well so the count is two right so let me go back and see If I've added the location as well. Mm, I did add the location. So let me. Yes. 
do a reader and check this. Okay, so I also want to try How I got it. Um, okay, so here there's a difference. So when you consider list two dot accept list one, so that means if you are giving like it is like uh, taking the reference from which one exactly also matters here when it comes to uh, you know referencing. So here uh, I have taken list two uh, in the beginning. So it will first fetch all the values, all the header values from the list two, and it will check from it. So ideally in this case, uh, it is giving the location as well. So you can give a try like this based on what is your requirement. You can go ahead with that. Uh, and also if you see here, it is providing all the three values. So it works like this. Um, so I hope this video you found it useful. This is the simplest way and more compact way that you can, you know, get utilized uh, utilization because this basic validations we definitely need in case you're handling the user data that's coming from a different system so uh, you have to ensure that data is aligned before you give it for the boss uh, bot for next processing so i hope you found this video useful if so please do let me know in the comments and also subscribe to my channel for more informative and productive videos i'll see you in the next video till then bye